Hello, and welcome to another episode of my podcast. My name is Cheryl, and this is Cappuccino Crafts, my little channel on YouTube and my corner of the general interwebs where I like to talk about knitting and crochet and books and TV and movies and other life and chatty things that I want to share with you. So thank you very much for choosing to watch this video and spend a little bit of your time with me. I really appreciate it and I hope that you enjoy it. Yes, I am recording this in Washington State where I live in the United States and oh, it's been so smoky. The West Coast fires were so terrible and they still are um although they're a little i think they're a, in some areas a little bit more under control than they were and we've had in the last three four days rain showers off and on and so the air quality is a lot better i actually saw some blue in the sky um so I hope if you have been near the fires or near the hurricanes on the Atlantic coast of the United States and the Gulf Coast, um, I hope that you're safe. I hope that um, you're, you're doing okay and um, yeah, take care. And if, anyway, yeah. And there are lots of other things going on too but um yeah so wherever you are and um i hope that that you're you had a, a good week let's relax and enjoy some cozy time please get yourself a delicious beverage and settle in um get your yarn your hook your needles whatever you need your embroidery project and um, let's get down to our chatty goodness. And I want to start with crafts today. Last yesterday, last week, I was so excited about the book, where it just like went right into the books, and that's fine. That's good. I was just really excited. Um, but let's do our usual and start with the crafts. This is the Japanese garden shawl. It's, this is the center. The circle is the center. And I've been working on the right side. And it's gotten pretty long. We're getting close to the end. And I'm loving it. And I'm loving knitting it. I love everything about it. Yes, this has been such a wonderful project and I can't wait to wear it. It's almost going to be almost kind of like a scarf more than a shawl and I'm not mad at that at all. Actually, I'm not mad at that at all. I'm going to love it. Um, And the color, I was hoping that I'd be pretty much on gauge. And I did measure my gauge as much as I could when I started. Um, but but the this color, the main color, it uses, according to the pattern, like 96 out of 100 grams. <laughs> So I know, I knew this was going to be close. And if I was like not on a good track to, to match the gauge or at least not be bigger, it could be smaller, but then that would make the whole shawl smaller and I wouldn't want that. But um, I wanted to be as close as I could to matching the design gauge so that I would not have trouble running out of yarn. 
and I've been measuring this as I've been going after each stripe in this color I've been measuring to see how much I have left and I want to make sure I have enough of this left to do you know the other side and this is 59 grams and I think I have one or two little short um, pieces to do in this color before the end but I I think nine grams should be fine and then um, I expect I'll have close to 50 grams to do the other side which should be just right but I'm gonna keep measuring as I go just to make sure my gauge doesn't like loosen up or something I'm on the on the way to finishing but I think I'm on a very good track and if I have to I might finish it in this color if I really think it's gonna be trouble and I that'd be fine too um, for these two accent colors um, there should be plenty of yarn to spare. And my tea today, because I'm really thirsty right now, and my throat's feeling a little dry. This is green mango tea from Tea Source. It is a green tea with natural flavorings. And it is refreshing. It is very light and refreshing and delicious. This is cold. <sighs> Which makes it extra refreshing. And what are you drinking? What beverage did you choose? I'd love to hear about it in the comments and chat with you about... Uh, anything your projects what you're reading what you're watching how how things are going or if you have any questions for me um yeah go ahead and and let's chat about it in the comments um yeah that'd be great so the next project is crochet and it's quite long now this is the um, mesh section here's the mesh section mesh section on this end so we're getting very close to the end on the other side And this is as tall as, this is as long as I am tall right now. I held it up while I was standing up to see where it came on me. And it's as long as I am tall right now, which is great. And my third project is a mystery cow the craftivist cow uh, which uh, the yarn was dyed in the yarn kit she sold yarn kits um, the mystery yarn kit was dyed by lady dye yarns and she organized the whole cow and um, reached out to some designers she collaborated with aroha knits for the knit pattern which is the one that I'm doing. She, uh, Aroha Knits, uh, is calling the pattern for this cow Te Wenua. So the pattern is Te Wenua by Wen Aroha Knits. And it is, the last clue was released on September 16th. Today, is September 21st. It's Monday. 
September 21st. Um, and I just finished clue three. So I haven't started the last clue. Although I downloaded it because I finished the last row of clue three and I'm ready to start next time I pick this up to work on it. I'm ready to start the final clue, clue four. So I am going to show the pattern. I mean, not, not the written pattern and not the charts, but I'm going to show the show. You're going to see what it looks like. If, if you are curious to try this pattern as a mystery pattern and not know what's coming up, then uh, this is your spoiler warning because I'm going to show it. And so if you don't want to be spoiled, then please look away for a couple minutes. Skip ahead until, skip ahead a bit and, okay, are you ready? Here we go. Here we are. This is clue three, clue two. And let's look at it right side up from the top down. Here we are. I think it's really beautiful. I haven't looked at the chart yet. I did download the clue, but I haven't looked at the chart, so I'm not sure what the last uh, lace pattern is going to look like, but I'm really excited. And, yep, so it's safe to look now. That is all the crafting. And I also have been keeping up with my bullet journal. It's helping me stay on track with all the all the little details and things. I also made a special spread, which I don't do very often, but I wanted to make a spread about, um, about that imaginary trip in a novel, about the imagination vacation to Japan. So, I wrote down some of the foods I ate. I drew a couple pictures and I wrote down the book and the, my knitting project. And I, there's still plenty of room. I think I might possibly put a couple quotes from the book. I also might um, try to trace this, the wave pattern that I put in here. I did um, not exactly trace, but semi-traced it from a picture I pulled up on my phone. I did an image search for Japanese uh, wave paintings or Japanese style wave pictures and I found one I liked and I pulled it up on my phone and I kind of traced over it and that's how I did that. I might do the same thing and put a branch of cherry blossoms or maybe just freehand a few cherry blossoms here and there and add a quote or two to finish it. But I really had fun recording that little fantasy. Mm. And... I haven't drawn any, 
I don't really do icons or doodles or anything. I haven't drawn in my bullet journal in a very, very long time. Um, but every once in a while I get inspired and I have some fun with it. And that's just what happened. I also started a new book. Uh, it came in from a hold I had placed from my library for the audiobook. And it is Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware, which is a really creepy and very atmospheric um, kind of gothic vibes thriller about a nanny. It's a little bit inspired by Henry James' Turn of the Screw because it's a nanny and creepy kids and in a very isolated house and the parents had to go away um, both of the parents so she is left completely in charge and alone with the kids and things are not going well <laughs> I'm like two-thirds done and it's like really it's very like creepy and it's just like really playing with that. Are there ghosts? Is somebody trying to make me think there's ghosts? Is, am I like losing my mind? Is there a conspiracy and they're trying to make me lose my mind? All of that stuff which is really chilling and fun to read. So excited to finish that. Although it's gotten like so tense right now, I don't want to listen to it like after dinner and when I'm upstairs like chilling out, getting ready to like go to sleep um, because I think it would just get me wound up and keep me up <laughs> so um, yeah and when I started it I was listening to it at night like at, at, at that time like after dinner I'm relaxing up in my room kind of and I yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to do it only during the day now so Maybe before dinner, I'll listen to as much as I can. And then after dinner, no more. But I, I really like it. And that's the only, well, no, I have, I got the ebook. Not It's not the audio version, but I did get, I started the ebook of Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. And that is a pen name. Um... But I, I think I've read like 15% of that. But um, that was just one reading session and I haven't gone back to it yet. Although I was liking it. I do like it. Um, but I, I have plenty of time before. Because it's, it's really short too. I have plenty of time before... The file expires and my loan is done. Um, so I'm not super in a rush. Uh, but I do want to get back to it. I just haven't yet. Because like Ruth Ware was like... I was like, gotta get back to that. Ah, what is going on? Um, yeah. So, mm -mm -mm. I'm still watching Lovecraft Country 
and it is a really good like horror sci-fi show with the news <laughs> this has been a really hard week on the news and i haven't really been watching except for just short bits but um i do kind of want to keep out of the corner of my eye i feel like i at least want to have some idea what's going on and this has been such a hard week in the news and I've been good about not letting myself keep watching because <laughs> um, that just isn't good for me um, but yeah and I have my plan for how I'm gonna vote um, and I know that I'm registered. I've confirmed that I am registered. Please take care of yourself and be kind to yourself and your loved ones. And I hope that you and all your family and loved ones are doing well. And I hope all that your creative projects are turning out exactly as you envisioned and making you relaxed and happy and see you next time. Bye bye.